Are you trying hard to fit in, to fit in with your friends, with society? Afraid of not sharing who you are with the world because you're afraid of what people would think, the criticism, the imaginary tomatoes people will throw at you. Well, take this video as a reminder to stop trying to fit in. We're all here to be unique. We all have unique perspectives. We have unique purposes and unique gifts, which means that the more you try to fit in, the more exhausted you'll feel, the more you'll end up with the wrong people around you, because no one's, people aren't seeing the true you. Now, am, am I saying that you should leave all, the, all your friends and change overnight? Well, maybe <laughs> some people do that. Some people enjoy that chaos and revolution. But if you're not someone like that, then you simply take tiny steps. You start noticing, okay, maybe I'm not comfortable with this person because I'm trying to be someone I'm not. And you, you simply start becoming more aware of where you aren't satisfied where you're trying to put on a mask and be someone you're not. And the more you can do that, the more interesting life becomes, because then people see who you are. And yes, some people won't like you, but some people will like you even more, because it's always polarizing when we are ourselves. Now, some people will be naturally less po polarized, polarizing and some people will be more polarizing so the more you can learn to enjoy some people not liking you or simply be with it because some people are more sensitive to that than others but the older you, you get the more you realize that it's not about making other people happy it's about first making yourself happy and then sharing your gifts and seeing who the right person is for you, because when you are yourself, the right people will like you. Now, you may not have a lot of friends. Some people will have a lot of friends. Some people won't have a lot of friends. But those who don't have a lot of friends are usually creatives. They're individuals, and they have a different purpose in life. So if you don't have a lot of friends, maybe you enjoy painting, you enjoy being alone, you enjoy being in nature, you enjoy doing something that doesn't require friends. And as I talk about in my other videos, I talk about the themes in life and how life really works. And so we go through these cycles. So you might have a period in your life, a chapter, let's say seven years, ten years, where you're more alone, you're more creative, you want to be alone. And society, the people around you may think there's something wrong with you when you're just going through a different chapter in your life, a more creative chapter. And then maybe in, when you turn 40 or 30 or 50, you suddenly become this social butterfly where you're just social all the time. And then you wonder, what happened to my creativity? And the problem then becomes when you're trying to hold on to those chapters too much. And you're trying to hold on to the identity you had Let's say when you were a creative, you were a painter. But there's always the, the red thread that runs throughout our lives of being an artist, but maybe being an artist in different ways. Painting, singing, music, there's always that core theme. Now, if you're young or doesn't matter if you're old, you can still be confused about what that red thread is about. And that's what I help people with. That's what I help. I help you. I, I help empower people to themselves so they can do what they love. But the message of this video is really to stop trying to fit in. So don't try so hard. You don't have to filter everything you say so much. Now, obviously, you don't want to berate people. Some people are more criticizing of others naturally, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I notice the details. When, when the details are wrong, I really notice that. But I'm not telling everyone that. I'm not trying to criticize everyone. Now, sometimes it slips out if I'm having a bad day 
or if there's that kind of energy around me. So I simply do my best and I'm simply, I do myself to be myself. And that sounds interesting because there's no effort in being myself because the moment I stop filtering and trying to be what I'm not, that's when I simply am who I am. So it's not an act of being or, yeah, it's an act of being, it's not an act of doing. But yeah, words can get confusing. <laughs> it's about you discovering for yourself what it means to be you and stopping this trying to fit in and being your creative self and embracing your gifts, embracing that which you're afraid to embrace because you're afraid of what other people will think. So what are, what do you secretly yearn for in life? Who are you? And what are you afraid of people criticizing you for? That's something I encourage you to explore and to start diving deeper into and to challenge your fears about that and to see what happens when you go in that direction. So as always, if you enjoy, like this video, click like, subscribe, come visit me at my website where you can find articles, information on coaching and my books and all that. And I'll see you in the next video.